Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a great alternative to Microsoft Flip, formerly known as Flipgrid, which shut down earlier this summer. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this alternative is and how you can use it. So first of all, you'll find it at Padlet.com, a tool that I've made many videos about over the years. The basics of how to get started with Padlet are linked up in the description down below. Here I have my blank Padlet wall. And you can see I've set it up to be the title of Things We've Learned This Week. Share a short video about something you've learned this week. And I wrote out that heading and subtitle over here in the settings. Now I'm going to add a post to this wall. And I can do that by just double clicking anywhere I want or by clicking on that plus symbol down in the bottom right hand corner where I can now write my post and say, please share something you learned. Here's what I learned this week. And I could continue to write or I could record using my camera. You'll see the camera icon right there. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So now we want to record the video. Now we can click on this camera icon and when we use that camera icon, that's going to simply take my photograph. And I don't want to just take my photograph. I want to actually record a video. So I'm going to go over here to the right hand side and you'll see the plus 12 more attachment types. And now we see video recorder as well as audio recorder. So if you just wanted to use audio, you could do that as well. Let's do a video recorder. And again, I'm going to allow access. And I need to make sure I pick the right camera. There we have it. And I have my microphone turned on. And you can see here my recordings can be up to two minutes long. Let's go ahead and record for just a short bit. This week I learned about the difference between robbery and burglary. It's actually very interesting. Now I can play it back and save it. This week, I learned, and I like it, so I'll save it, and this video will now be added into this post over here that I've already started. We'll see, there's the video. I can write even more about the video or anything else below the video if I want, and then I can finally publish that post. Now. The part that makes this an alternative to Flipgrid, you can see here we have the option, option to add a comment. And again, you can add a comment using the video recorder. Now, I want my students to record responses down below my video. So, I need to share this with them. And we'll see over here on the right hand side, we're going to open our share panel and we'll see my visitor permissions. I'm going to allow them to be writers okay. or I can say they can just comment. If they're writers, they can write and record an entirely new post, an entirely new thing that looks like this. If they're commenters, they can only add a comment down below what I have posted. For this demo, I'm going to leave it as writer. And I'm now going to grab that link to share with my students. You can see there's some other sharing options down here, like share via another app, embed it in your blog or website, get a QR code. But I've just copied the link and I'm going to use it wherever I would normally share links with my students. And here we now have the student view. You can see I'm signed in or not signed in at all. I'm 
just using an anonymous student account here. That's the little bug icon you see in the upper right hand corner. And we're going to say add comment. We're going to allow. And again, you can use that video recorder. I'm going to allow it. Make sure I have the right camera turned on. And I'll now record. Well, another thing that I learned this week was the definition of the word asportation. And we'll play back and save. Save it. And this video will be added as a comment down below the original post. You can see there it is. Now I mentioned I allowed, in this case, students to write new posts on their own. So they can do so by double clicking or clicking the plus symbol down below and they could write an entirely new post to which other people could reply. Now I should point out that for this demo, I'm allowing anyone who has access to this link to add comments and write new posts. In the sharing settings over here, I again can change this and I can even say, again, only commenter, I can say no access, only a reader. And you can see there's my link privacy. I can change that link privacy from secret to secret with a password, in which case I have to give the students a password to access that particular Padlet URL. Or I can say that students have to be logged in, meaning they have to have a Padlet account and they have to be logged in. And I should also point out that you can, in your settings here, moderate all of the posts. You can see right there with my post setting, I can turn on moderation. I have it set to auto to try to automatically filter out profanity. But you can also set it to manual, in which case you as a teacher would have to review every submission before anyone else can see it. And again, I have many more videos covering everything you could probably ever want to know about Padlet. And those videos are linked up in the description down below. And as always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.